Hello, my name is Garx82, and welcome back to my Greg Tech New Horizon series. I'm just out looking for meteorites here, and as we can see, my compass is going crazy, and what that means is there is skystone in this chunk. So if I go ahead and break that, yeah, there is actually other ones somewhere, uh, probably underground or something. Um, but that is why this one is spinning. Um, uh, so that's kind of how you know where one of the meteorites is, if it's underground, because they do spawn underground. This one is pretty visible. So I did uh, just, uh, I just ran to this one. Um, in the base though, it was actually pointing to a different one. Um, so, that's pretty cool that there's a couple near. Um, let's see if there's an easier way to do this. Oh, also, I noticed uh, there is something on this camera that says there's incorrect data. I think something changed with Alamite. I think I read in the change log. And if you do that, you can see it's. Uh, where's the durability? 1965. Yeah, the durability is dropping quite a bit there. Um, so I probably am going to replace this with like vanadium steel. All right, so in the center of this should be a chest somewhere. It's usually easier if I just go in the top. Yeah, this is one of my least favorite things about Applied Energistics, trying to find these presses. All right, so I'm just trying to kind of figure out where is the center of this thing? Maybe I should do that. Um, Cause each of them are like, have different sizes. Some are bigger than others. Or... All right, looks like I pretty much hit the center. All right, yeah, that's the center. So there should be a chest somewhere near here. Uh, I also have a quest for Skystone. I can't remember where it is, uh, but I did remember seeing that. All right, so let me dig this out a bit more and see if I can find the Skystone chest. All right, uh, apparently the hammer will mine the Stystone chest as well. I didn't even see it and I got like an achievement for it or the quest. Um, oh, so there is the calculation process in not it? Uh, but that's what the, the chest look like. I guess we'll take this with. Not that it really, I don't even really need it, but do they have any uses? I can pulverize it down for eight. Um, but yeah, if you kind of have it there, it's quite hard to see. Um, but each meteor, sh I believe each meteor has one. Um, but I don't know if that, maybe some don't. I really don't know, actually. Um, but we got one of the presses, so I have a few more to go. So I'm going to keep going to the, uh, I'll keep going and search for more presses. I see you over there, skeleton, trying to get to me. Denied. All right, we'll meet back at the base. All right, so as I was creating the nether ports in the autoclave over there, um, I realized if I can even, nope, that's not what I want to do. Yeah, so one other course dust in an autoclave only gets a 90% chance, but it has to be distilled water. If you only do uh, regular water, it's a 70% chance. So it's, uh, I decided to hook up my distillery here. I am the distillery. Um, I just connected it to the water, and I actually have it auto-outputting up 
upstairs to a my auto HV autoclave up here. So I have distilled water in here and I have my nether quartz going in there and um, it is much quicker. It's only 18 seconds as opposed to, I don't remember. What was the other one? 75 seconds. Um, so yeah, pretty happy with that. Now I just got a bunch of service quartz going and I'm just kind of collecting resources. Um, as we needed and I have gotten all the presses I had to go to four meteors I think that's all of them yeah I got a two extra I don't know if I need these yeah I doubt I need those I'm just gonna get rid of them I wonder if they have aspects actually. Oh, they do. A lot of metal, apparently. All right, so we got our presses. So there is that. So let's claim that. And then I'm guessing these all kind of get used in the forming press, is kind of what I'm thinking with plates. That's. I haven't looked at this at all, so I really don't know. I need to clean up my bags a bit here. So full of stuff. All right, so let's take a look at how we make these. So that's the normal recipe, but yeah. So we need an assembler. I was thinking, well, yeah, yeah that's right. So. The final thing is done in the assembler with molten redstone, but these are used, uh, yeah, that's what I thought, in the forming press. Um, oh, apparently there's 277 recipes in there, so I need plates of everything. So if I'm going to do calculation is, yeah, there's, you can either do pure certus or Certus Quartz Plates. It's probably the easiest, the Certus Quartz Plates, because I can just use Certus Quartz Dust. Um, why don't I just... get some more Certus Quartz, not the purified stuff. And then I'll use that, I think. All right, and then um, I'm also sieving the stuff as well. Or sifting, not sieving. So whatever I get extras from this, I am putting in the autoclave. So, yeah. Now I also probably need I only have eight gold at the moment actually I have some more up here but these needs I think these all need to be not compressed uh, plates so yeah and then do I need I'm assuming these also need to be diamond yeah, so diamond plates. I think I may have eight, actually. Wow, look at that. I looked out. All right, so forming press. I didn't even see if... All right. And it's actually not too slow of a recipe, so that's good. Let's throw those in there. And then silicon, I need a bunch of silicon here. How about we just do, I'm gonna have to cook up like a stack of silicon. What, uh, this one needs a one. Yeah, there's no other way to cook it, it looks like, to get the ingots.
What's this one? Silicon dioxide with carbon dust. Oh, interesting. Cause silicon dioxide is actually pretty easy. It's just, uh... Yeah, it's just, um... It's not like macerating sand you get silicon dust from. Uh, that's still 21 seconds. I mean, it's not the, the slowest of recipes, but um, the one thing I got to be a little careful with is this is pulling 433. I guess I could just look on this thing. Oh, I think I... Yeah, 433. And this also uses 300 and something when this is running, so having both of these running will drain my batteries really quick. Um, anyway, so there is like a silicon ingots. Oh, I also need... Man, I can't wait to get all this stuff like automated. Oh, that's not what I wanted. I wonder what quartzite's worth. Or what quartzite is used for. No idea. All right, we'll compress that up, get the plates. And then, yeah, this is actually not too terrible. Gold is logic. I think silicon is probably the most annoying because it has to go through the blast furnace. But again, it's still not even that bad. Anyway, so that is these. Um, I also need redstone. How much? Is it one per, I'm guessing? Yeah. Not that that is an issue. We'll do the 24 that it's asking for. All right, so that's that. Now these are all the different terminals. We're not quite there yet. Are these recipes any different? They do need circuits. They need MV. So that is not too bad. Oh, there's quartzite screws. Sorry, quartz plate, aluminum panel. Oh, so AE does need titanium. I didn't even realize that, ironically. Um, I just haven't even really checked at it yet, so. All right, so all these are pretty easy. What do the interfaces need? Yep, titanium. So it looks like automation is gated behind titanium. So that is good to know. Yep. All right, and then we got Flux crystals here. Um, I'm probably, I'll probably wait to get all these. Uh, so it wants us to do 128. That is quite a lot. And how do we get these? Yeah, I figured it's not dropping in the water. Like in the ground in the water. I mean, it may be. But mixer would be easier, I think. You can also autoclave it. All right. So let me go ahead and uh, we'll I'll get the rest of this stuff here, and we will uh, continue. All right. I got all the parts needed, and I got all the different things for the. Fluix crystals, so uh, let's, this is 100%, right? Yeah, let's just go ahead and throw that in a mixer. Is that it? Yeah, all right. And then these will go in 
I think I can just throw everything in and then I think that'll work. Um, so I guess I'm doing, yeah, we're doing 24. Yeah. So you can have everything in there and then it'll just do whatever it can do. Obviously you have to remove that. And just need the last of the silicon things. There we go. Um, I had a bunch of machines running and I did kind of drain all my batteries, unfortunately. My power is still not the best. Um, but it works for now. All right, so that should be that one. Yep. And this should be that one. All right, so why are these green? Doesn't that like imply that it's repeatable? Because these are like on cooldown. And once they're done on the cooldown, they go blue. So why are those green? I don't know. Um, diamond's probably the most annoying to make. All right, so what do we got here? So we got our blank patterns for the drives. You can use a storage bus connected to other blocks. Common tactic is to connect a bank of compressed chest or even a drawer core on this way. Uh, what is this item processor tier one? I've never seen this before. All right, so you need this to make these. Is that what I'm? Yeah. Okay. So that's okay. That's annoying with the vacuum tubes. I'm definitely gonna have to get these NAND chips to make these. All right. So these item processors. So what are the logic? What are these used for then? Oh man, look at that. That is definitely a difficult recipe. Not difficult, but that recipe has been nerfed. Chris Girl Trable. Wow, I haven't done that stuff in a long time. All right, so we need four of these. So what is this? We need. Okay, we do have the assembler. What is this item tier circuit? Okay, so I'm going to need to get an HV forming press here to get these, it looks like. All right. And these just all... Okay, so here we go. So we get these with a redstone plate. So I'm guessing I'm going to need, like, a ton of these. So why don't we go ahead and just get, like, a stack going. That's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> that turned it into a block. Um, redstone plate. Forget how to do these. Uh, cutting machine. Right. That's probably the easiest way. Or the easiest way would be fluid solidifier. Do I have a fluid solidifier? Hooked up. I do actually. All right, that's probably the easiest way to do it. Although I don't have an extra. Yeah, I don't have an extra. A mold here. All right, I think I can actually create easier molds if I get the better forming press as well. So like this. Yeah, you need a better forming press. So that's actually uh, something that is good to have. Um, I'm just going to throw this in here. It may end up using it for weapons. So let's so do that. OK, 
Okay, that's much easier. And then these just go through the... Yeah, that. So ruby lens, any of the red ones. Relatively easy to make. Apparently I have a bunch of chip wafers in there that I don't remember why. <laughs> Uh, there we go. So thankfully that's actually pretty fast. Let's just go ahead and get these going. Oh, and that's fast too. This room is so tiny. I don't want to spend time crafting the more filters and all sorts to expand it though 480 so are we running out of yeah that's draining power i really got to get the power situation figured out in here because it kind of drives me a bit crazy um since these can't pull multiple amps is basically the the main problem See, I can just remove those and then it kind of like goes back up and then I'll put more back in. Um, I want to get like a battery buffer in here would probably be the easiest. Um, but so how would I... I guess I could move them over. They don't need to be like there. Put a battery buffer here and then have them... That's probably what I would do, but then I can't get, hmm, the problem is I can't get the fluids in them if I do it that way. Because uh, I can't put a battery buffer here because then I can't reach that. It definitely uh, is constraining in here with the size. So that, yeah, I just do it, I mean... For now, I could just throw the batteries in here. I don't know. So, okay, so there's the chipsets, and then let's see. So, iron, there's all the different chipsets. It's like, what is this? Is this used for it? No, this is just all BC stuff. So item circuits, so we need the golden chipsets, wow. So quite a lot of gold, so we then we use these for this. How do we get engraved gold chips? Even more gold. Okay, so this is going to require a lot of gold here. Can I get the four at least? It looks... Like I'm a bit short. Throw that in there. So it was Morty. I've already forgotten. <laughs> oh, I need to get a better forming press. Right. Um, so let's come back and I will build the HV uh, forming press. All right, there is the advanced forming press. I have no idea if it's a, a quest. It does not look like it. Oh, well. So there is, I don't know if I got a shift click on it to connect it to the power supply. All right, so I think I needed four of those, didn't I? Nice. Um, I guess I'll leave that in there for now. I'm not crafting polyethylene. All right, so there's the golden chipsets, and then oh, these. 
think I have a yeah, diamond lens. So we'll just use diamond lens. And I've just realized, oh, no, I have a bunch here. I don't know, we'll just do a bunch. Morty forgetting what, all right, so there. Yeah, so it's that. So I need four of those. Oops, I'm trying to keep all these, these lenses. I'm trying to like remember which one is which is, hold on, so this, We'll go back in there, All right? Not the fastest. Just got to be careful. I really got to sort out a better supply apply. Um, I'm thinking maybe even just crafting a second turbo congestion generator or crafting a better steam turbine. The, uh, like the HV one. I probably will do that actually uh, in between episodes. And then, uh, yeah, I'm still, this thing is still going. I don't know how many episodes I have done in the meantime. I would have to look back. All right, so there is the item tier, uh, item tier circuit one. So this then just goes in the assembler. And we don't need anything else. All right, so that is definitely a little bit more involved. Um, but I will probably do, um, oh, not that, in the assembler. There we go. Um, I'll probably do like this entire stack. Uh, I just need to get uh, a bunch more gold here. Um, I don't know if I should turn them into item processors. Or should I kind of maybe wait a bit? Uh, I don't know. But yeah, this requires a lot. So this requires one plate, two plates, three plates, three plates each of gold. So like three gold ingots each, as opposed to the one originally. Yeah, I'll take that, I guess. The other one probably would have been better. All right, so we got our blank patterns here. We got our ME storage housing. Uh, this is, yeah, this is for the auto crafting. Uh, let's take a look at these. Glowstone plates, aluminum, crystal, and quartz glass, which none of that is difficult to make. Uh, so that's good. What are these? Uh, not not difficult uh they do require stainless steel but i'm not going to have tons of these uh, so that's actually not bad either these are definitely going to be a bit of a pain um the controller all hv stuff and titanium Yep. So uh, I need a 1K storage drive. Now, oh man, this needs charged shortest quartz. All right, so I'm going to have to do kind of like a bunch of crafting. I think I'll probably do like a couple stacks of kind of each thing that I'm going to need here. Um, but before we wrap up this episode, I do... Uh, these require vacuum tubes or these NAND chips. Now there is a quest for the NAND chips and I haven't done it yet, uh, but these are probably easier than the, having to use steel the and the vacuum tubes, I'm thinking. 
Although it does need a lot of good circuit boards. Uh, which is a bit of a pain. Do I have any vacuum tubes left on me? I do have four. Why don't we just go ahead and craft up? Um, I'm going to do a lot of this crafting because I need to get circuit boards and stuff. Uh, I'll probably finish that. But let's go ahead and... Oh, I need four of these. So don't have enough for that quite yet, but let's just go ahead and make one. So what was it? That. And then the charge shirt is dust. All right, so there is the one, one storage component. Now, there's a wireless. Uh, not quite getting into that. Oh, let me do this. There we go. And then there's the purified versions of it. Uh, I'm not going to do that quite yet. Uh, the cables, sort of quartz rods in a wire mill. That's not too bad. Now these are pretty much the same except for more sort of quartz rods. So, right. Um, the last thing I wanted to look up is the MI drive. What is this? Do not move chests with a drive to make corrupt your profile. No refunds. <laughs> All right, so this needs an ME chest, which just needs stainless steel and MV stuff. So, okay, not too bad. Uh, but yeah, titanium is a gate. So uh, I actually didn't even realize that uh, I actually had to go to the moon before I could get AE. So I ended up... Uh, Guess doing it the right way. Anyway, that's going to be it for this episode. Next episode, we will get farther into AE2. I'm going to craft up a bunch of components here, uh, and hopefully we will set up the actual system and finally get rid of all these chests. Um, but yeah, that's going to be it for today. So thanks for watching, and have a good one.